Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I have some news that you might probably not want to hear. During a Morgan Stanley conference yesterday, Elon Musk said Starship orbital test flight could happen next month or so. Um, so, but we are getting, we are getting close for our first orbital attempt of, of Starship. Um, hopefully in the next month or so, we'll, we'll have our first attempt. He didn't say March, so we will not see a Starship launch attempt this month, maybe not until May or it could be pushed further back to July, August range. So, what could be the reason for this long delay? According to Elon and other SpaceX officials, the static fire of Booster 7 with 31 engines was the final per-flight test before attempting a test flight. But something is not adding up. We thought the installation of the shielding around the OLM ring was causing the delay but after yesterday's remarks, we are clueless. Could the FAA license be the possible reason for the delay? Or are they going to install the water deluge system first before the first launch attempt? These questions need some solid answers as well. But if they are going to install the water deluge first, we can expect a delay of up to two months at the least. By that time, we may also see the orbital launch tower fully covered with cladding. I think SpaceX is being extra cautious for the Starship launch, there is little room for error here. It is the world's most powerful rocket and they need to be careful obviously. Yes, Starship launches are spectacular and a great show to watch but SpaceX is making a make-no-mistake approach toward achieving its goals. Elon said there is a 50% chance of reaching orbit in its first attempt and 80% in the subsequent launches this year. I'm not saying it'll get to orbit, but I am guaranteeing excitement. <laughs> um, so, it won't be boring. Um, I think, I think it's got, a, I don't know, hopefully above 50% chance of reaching orbit. Um, and, uh, and then we're, we've got, we're building a, a whole series of starships in, in South Texas. Um, and so I think we've got, I don't know, hopefully about an 80% chance of reaching orbit this year. There is a series of starships lining up at the production site at Starbase. He also said a fully reusable starship could be achieved in two years' time. So, don't expect to see that chopstick arms in action to catch the rocket in its first few missions. It'll probably take us a couple more years to achieve uh, full and rapid reusability, um, which I can't, I can't emphasize enough is it is, the, it is the profound breakthrough that is needed I think we have an answer to Friday's MSIB for possible Starship testing. Starship S-26 was moved out of the high bay. It could make its way to the launch site for another round of testing. A temporary road delay notice was issued and everyone thought it was for S-24's rollback to the launch site. But for now, the possible and highly likely candidate is Starship S-26. Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency is facing some backlashes from Tuesday's H-3 launch failure. It is not uncommon for a company to lose a rocket on its debut flight, but JAXA took an enormous risk on Monday. The H-3 rocket is JAXA's next-gen launch vehicle that has a lot of weight on its shoulders. The rocket from its initial stage of development was designed to lower the cost per launch and it was intended to fly on different missions including uncrewed cargo missions to the ISS and a Mars mission. The launch cost of an H-3 rocket is about $50 million or less but on Monday when the destruct command was sent to the second stage, it also blew up a land-observing satellite that was worth around a quarter billion dollars, $280 million to be exact. I don't think it was a wise move to carry such an expensive and practical satellite on a test flight mission. It was a huge gamble in my opinion. It made headlines in Japan following the launch failure. We learn from our mistakes. I think JAXA will come back stronger and wish them luck for its future launches. Today is a big day for Relativity Space. The company will attempt to launch its first ever rocket to orbit. The mission named Good Luck Have Fun is set for launch later today in a two-hour launch window which opens at 1 p.m. Eastern Time from Launch Complex 16 at Cape. Terran 1 is the world's first 3D printed rocket to fly to space and the company's debut flight mission. If successful, it will also become the world's first Methalox rocket to reach orbit. Being a test flight mission, there will be no customer payload on board the rocket. This time also, I will be streaming the launch live on this channel. Please do come and watch it together with us. Let's end the video here. Thank you for watching it till the end.